When people think about Arizona, they think about dry deserts, rattlesnakes, 100 degree temperatures. They don't realize that we have the largest ponderosa pine forest in the world where in a single day, you can see massive herds of elk, bald eagles, bear, wild horses, and we have over 400 miles of crystal clear trout streams. The beauty is really intoxicating. And I was fortunate enough to have grown up here. As kids, we would fish these streams all the time. We'd cut off pieces of our flip-flops to imitate ants and we would catch fish. It was after high school that I had this really intense desire to see and experience the world, so I left. And I recall friends saying that if I did leave, I'd just spend the rest of my life trying to figure out how to get back. Well, she was right. It took a little bit of time, but I finally made it back. The truth is, nobody really owns this place. We're just guardians who made an investment to preserve it. And if you ask me what's worth preserving, just look around. And what does it mean to interact with nature? How can we quiet our minds, be where our feet are in the most ancient of ways and feel the power that is resident here? It's not about what we do in nature, but how we connect to it. It really wasn't until I picked up a fly rod again that I think I really started to understand that connection. Where you read the water, select the fly, make a cast, and if you're lucky enough to be here in the White Mountains of Arizona, you'll have a chance to land an Apache trout, which can't be caught any place else in the world. I do have friends that don't fly fish, and they will often ask me why I do it. The simplest answer I can give is that it recalibrates my soul. to examine the beauty of the world around us, we can see parallels in our own lives. But like life, these mountains have changed over time. There's been forest fires, droughts, development, population growth. You can see the stress on the land and it's made me realize that we have to protect it. just for the people who fly fish, but for everyone who wants to appreciate what these mountains have to give. I'm happy to call this place home again, and even if you're visiting, don't forget it's your home too.